what's up 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 guys it's justin here back with another video pretty excited about this one um house cleaning uh i'm coming to you right after the saints lost to the buccaneers so <laughs> i'm a heartbroken saints fan um assuming drew Brees is retiring so what a great career that had or great career that that guy had but i think i mentioned in the last video that i was going to um a new sports card shop in my town and i picked up some stuff so i'm gonna take you through a little bit of what i picked up while i was there uh, first things first you know i'm collecting everything joe burrow and i haven't gone through my collection i don't know if i already had this card or not but it was the panini contenders um, game day ticket it was like two bucks um, I went ahead and snagged it. Put that back where I'm going to put it. I kept this rated rookie from Donruss. I know I didn't have this one. So I was very excited to pick that one up. Pretty much in mint condition. The guy was pretty cool. And uh, talked some sports. He was also a Saints fan. So I might message his... Um, his... Um, the shop's account tonight and just say <laughs> how sad it was. Uh, I was also able to get a Clyde Edwards Elaire Mosaic, which I believe I paid another fifteen dollars for, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I don't really remember. But I was happy to get it. Um big LSU fan as you guys know, so um uh, I didn't pull any Clydes this year, so uh, being able to get this one, I was very excited about that, and arguably my favorite pickup, because I've always wanted one, is a Topps Super Rookie a Bo Jackson, I got it for like $25, I believe, and was just super excited to pick it up, I had won like a $100 gift card um, previously, so I kind of went like uh, bananas with the stuff that I bought there, so this is probably my favorite one, just because, like I said, it's one of those cards that, um, as a collector, you were told, you know, like, oh man, when I was collecting cards, you had to get the Bojacks, and so, um, to be able to get one was, um, was pretty cool, so, super excited to have it, pretty good condition, maybe a nick or two somewhere, I don't, I don't know, but I was happy to pick it up. And I also got this box of 1992 Upper Deck baseball cards. And I don't know if this is the high set. I don't know. So I just looked up, like, the most valuable cards. I know, like, Ted Williams was in here. And his cards are, um, can be expensive. The guy seemed to believe this was the high set. I paid, like, $35 for this box, <clears throat> which is probably more than I should have. But it was... It was there and I grabbed it. So I went in and wrote down um, with my awful handwriting. Oldsportscards.com is where I got this from. So the cards were kind of looking for. And you can see I put a question mark next to Ted Williams. Um, Cause it's a thousand dollars. It's all PSA 10 graded cards. There was 2,500 of them and this was an autograph. And like I said, I don't know if it's in this set. We probably wouldn't pull it anyway, but by the off chance that we do, I put it on here. Joe Morgan and Johnny Bench worth five hundred dollars. Also twenty five hundred. Also autos? Question mark. It's only in the high series, so I have no idea. I know it says find the Williams. See details on back of pack. So we'll read the back of the pack and see. Because if you see right here on the box, it says find the Williams. See details on back of pack. So I don't know. I don't freaking know, guys. Um, and then going down the list. Not a lot of value in these cards, but I was born in 93, so it's kind of cool to open cards before you were born, and uh, a lot of the young guys I want to get, you know, and there's some people that I probably won't know, like, I'll just be honest, there's going to be some people that I don't know, and, but the ASMR value of me just saying their name, <laughs> hopefully is enough, but all these guys I do know, so I'm super excited about these, uh, there's a King Griffey Jr. card, um, not his rookie card, but it is $35, a card I really want is the Deion Sanders Prime two times. That's $35. Pedro Martinez rookie card, 25 Manny Ramirez rookie card, 
25. Pedro is probably the best pitcher I've ever seen play. At least in my opinion, he is. And Manny was always awesome. Nolan Ryan, 25. You have a Jim Tomei star rookie card. That's a $20 uh, graded um, PSA 10. Ricky Anderson's $20. And then another Griffey uh, Jr. It's the Diamond Skills um, set. These are 20 bucks. So I'll keep this off to the side. And we'll see which ones we get. These have been in my room forever. Uh, play ball, bubblegum baseballs. I bought these for I bought these for a video a long time ago. And I thought, why not? Um, with this one, it'd be a good time to break these out. I was hoping. Oh, that sucked. Um, I was hoping that. So this would be wax, wax packs, but it's not. Sorry, that's really loud. Put that off to the side. Hopefully these don't taste like crap either. What does this say? Triple and you probably couldn't even read this one if you wanted to. I don't know if it's even on this blue one. Yeah, who the hell knows? Oh yeah, I only one. up into two videos probably just to really get our money's worth
Christmas cards. I don't reckon that that alone is a valuable card at all. This is cool. Upper deck. Collector's choice. The big hurt. Frank Thomas.
this was his the third season. He went on to play forever. I mainly remember him as a Cleveland Indian. But uh, a Marvin Skell will put him in the I know them pile that will start now. Diamond Skills, Travis Fryman, best infield arm, uh, Jim Abbott's earlier was best left-handed pitcher so good for him John Franco of the New York Mets and Jeff Facero of the Montreal Expos no real rookies to speak of no Ted Williams Otto
Jose Oquindo, longtime third base coach for the St. Louis Cardinals. Collector 
Murray series. I like the back of these. It tells you all you can get. This is Eddie Murray. That's awesome. Oh, wow. I just saw something I'm excited about. Tim Raines, Chicago White Sox. Royce Clayton, star rookie. And Manny Ramirez, top prospect. This is a $25 PSA 10. And this looks the part. Looks to be well, well centered. Wow. I know it's not like a, do you know, a massive card, like a massive pull, but to have a, a rookie card of a Hall of Famer that you grew up watching is. Is it worth it? He was like him and Pedro are the main rookies, right? That I want, and to get him early on is is sweet. We gotta make a a pile for for that. We'll just screw the people just in those pile and get Manny right there. That's sweet. We'll look at that at the end for sure. Jeff King, Pirates. Eric Yelding, Houston Astros. I'll have to go through too. And maybe some Hall of Famers. I'm not setting aside that. That should be Cal Daniels, Dodgers. Mike Gallego, or Gallego. Right on cue talking about. Hall of Famers will we'll get Greg Maddox so. a uh, his own spot there. Try to remember now it's like a Hall of Fame pile that isn't uh that isn't like subsets and stuff. Dwayne Ward, Blue Jays. Also a big like uh, Barry Bonds fan, so any of his card I could get would be sweet. Jeff Montgomery, the Kansas City Royals. Carlos Martinez, the Indians. Our first duplicate that I can remember, Geronimo Pena of the Cardinals. Neil Heaton of the Pirates. And Jerry Don Gleaton of the Detroit. Hope you guys are getting nice and relaxed here. I'm gonna nix the gum joint for a little bit. Kevin, Kevin up here, Kansas City Royals. So the twins. Larry Anderson, that's a sweet looking uh a sweet looking uh like action shot there to me at least. Bloodlines Gary and Dwight. Dwight Gooden and Gary Sheffield seem more like brothers and uncle and nephew. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, Gary Sheffield's brother didn't play in the major leagues. There you go. And Roberto and Sandy Alomar. That's pretty sweet. This bloodline sounds pretty cool. It really puts into perspective, like, you just... <laughs> it's so much more likely you make it to the big leagues of any sport. If you have a family member, it's just, it's genetics is a crazy thing. Mike Gallego, that's a repeat there. Scott uh, Brocious, Oakland Athletics. Stan Belinda, Pirates. Another Jeff King of the Pirates. There's Ken Griffey Sr., the father of the great Ken Griffey Jr., obviously. The first. Mike Humphreys, Steve Bouchel, Boucher. Ah, that's cool. Best defensive player in this diamond skill set. Cal Ripken Jr. That's sweet. Lou Whitaker of the Detroit Tigers. And Mel Rojas of the Expos. 
Jr. and then Bill and Tony. No. No. Okay. This was almost the same pack. Lenny Harris. Harold Reynolds. Wow, that's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself sound um either young or, or old, depending on um the viewership, but Harold Reynolds. I remember on baseball at night. Growing up ESPN baseball at night, he was always on there. Like literally, like to me, when I think of like the voices of baseball for his of my childhood. Vin Scully, um, Harold Reynolds. Joe Buck, like those are the guys. So, always happy to have a Harold Reynolds card. Like, just, I mean, just to get that, I, to me, he's just baseball personified. Joe Guzman, Mike Lavier. Ooh, that's a, I, I love any Jose Canseco card. He's kind of crazy now on Twitter, follows me on Instagram, like, weirdly enough. Just for that, Jose Wolf. One of my favorite players. I remember binging like his book like in one day when it came out. I rented it from the public library. Believe it or not. Look at the home runs that guy had. But um I binged it. The book I read it in a day when I was like like fucking like thirteen or fourteen. Why is it the F word? I should have done that. Sorry guys. Dwayne Henry. Astros. Zane Smith of the Pirates. Gosh darn, I can't believe I cursed like that. <laughs> what am I thinking? It was just a blast from the past. I remember like, hey, Mom, I have to, um, I have to read this book. And she took me to the library and they had it. Thank goodness I called him ahead of time. I was like, save this book for me. Like I got a, I had just moved to the town I live in now. And like I, I got a library card to read, choose, like to read that book. And I read it in a day. We're gonna get back-to-back -back diamond skills. Ricky Henderson, or Ricky Henderson, Ricky Henderson, and uh, Cecil Fielder. Best power, best base runner. I went to high school with a guy named Ricky Henderson. <laughs> uh, that's Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer. Todd Benzinger of the Royals and Barry Jones of the Expos. I'd like to get a Barry Bonds as well. I love Barry Bonds. All right.
This is the Collector Series of David Justice. Kevin Brown of the Texas Rangers. Another of this. I actually don't know who this guy is. Dave Steeb of the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm sure someone down in the comments let me know that I should know who Dave Steeb is. Mark Smith, top prospect of the Orioles. Darren Fletcher, we buy this card tonight. Mel Thompson of the St. Louis Cardinals. Mark Icorn of the Angels. Jeff Houston of the Rangers. Wally Backman, Wally Backman, Backman, Backman of the Phillies. Tom Candioti. Blue Jays. Wally Whitehurst. Holy shit, what a name. Wally Whitehurst. <laughs> That's a great name. I love that name. Wally Whitehurst. Imagine, I go tell my wife, babe, we have to name our kid Wally Whitehurst. Steve Al. Jeff Reardon. Like a really weird follow through where he puts his glove by his crotch just in case there's a ball coming right at him. And Dave Otto of the Cleveland Indians. Getting down to the final, final bit of this video. Still no, no Pedro. We got Donald Harris though. Star rookie for the Rangers. Ted Williams, uh, baseball heroes. Still not the autograph that we are looking for. Roberto and Sandy and Gary and Dwight, we've seen those already in that Bloodline set, which seems to be over. I mean, all, the, all these cards were, you know, overprinted. Melito Perez, the White Sox. Jack Morris of the Twins. We got a Pirates logo. Spike Owen. I always like a guy named Spike. Maybe from my... You know, being a wrestling fan, you know, um, Spike Dudley, if you guys know who that is. This one says, see if you can see it. It says, safe on errors. Hubie Brooks, what I assume is a foul ball. It's a very good picture. Dan Gladden. I love those jerseys. Reminds me of Little Big League. Darren Dalton. In the 90s, man, people had like the same initials, like SSDD. Darren Dalton. Scott Scudder. First off, Scudder. It sounds like something that they drive in Star Wars. Ooh, best athlete, Jose Canseco. That's a sweet one. Gary Aritas. And Ted Power. Who should have been a hitter with the last name Power. Because he wasn't a great pitcher. All right. Four packs left. Might be under an hour, which would be a miracle. This is already by far my longest video. Mike Gallego, we already have his card. Rob Maurer, Moore, the Rangers, he's a star rookie. Paul Asenmacher, 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 Paul Asenmacher. That's, a, that's a, another like great name. Lines. We already had those. Greg Olson. David Sky. Sky. Never had a chance. Joe Orsalak. The Orioles as well, right? Back to back Orioles. Jay Bell. The Pirates. Look how many cards. I mean, she's just going to go out of frame. It's like a Dang stack over here. 
Dennis Eckersley Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Oakland A. Cardinal too, right? I could be making that up. Shane Mack of the Twins. Roger McDowell of the Dodgers with just some sweet shades. Please tell me anything about the, the water hose of the fans. Tell me this guy wasn't a, he was a pitcher and cheese. I was hoping he had dingers. I had I had faith in him. Kenny Rogers. Just the guy who does the chickens. Kenny Rogers roasters. I don't know. Oh yes, yes, yes. We get the King of Junior Diamond Skills, which is a twenty dollar card. If it's a PSA ten. So we do get one of the Griffies. We need the the base grippy. It's a thirty-five dollar card. Sweet. Love that. Love that. Love that. Walt Terrell, the Tigers, and Eric King, the Indians. Hope you guys are having fun. These last couple packs have been having fun, guys. Um, this is so much fun, and it's getting my mind off the fact that Drew Brees retired. I didn't sell a car this weekend, so. Really, just getting me through, you know. I do, I do, I do love this channel, and you guys have been so nice to me, and you seem to want me to continue to do more. So, Dave Anderson of the Athletics, Winfield's 400th. That's pretty cool. I don't know where to put that. Ted Williams, 1942, Triple Crown year, not signed, unfortunately. Moss. I feel like this is our rookie that's coming up. It's gonna suck. Yeah, Joey Hamilton. Top prospect for the Padres. Says who, dog? Says who? As a matter of fact, I'm tired of these. I'm saving these rookies like they're actually good. Like I know who the good rookies are, and it's not them. Let's give the real guys some some love here. Sucks. Bill Collickson. Collickson. Of the Tigers. What a great name that is. Charlie Hayes. The Phillies. David Wells. The Blue Jays. Is it the same David Wells who pitched like for the Yankees and Nick was just a big fat bald guy? Let me know. Mike Maddox. The Pirates. Vaughn Hayes of the Phillies. Brian Downing, Rangers. Luis Mercedes of the Orioles. Jack Clark of the Red Sox. And Danny 
case his packs aren't open. Okay. Bring on Pedro Martinez. Dave Ricchetti of the Giants. Reggie Sanders. Reggie Sanders of the Reds. That's not a bad rookie. It's just not, you know. I'll put him in. Oh, <laughs> crap. I don't know where to put him. I'll put him in that one. I know who he is. I played for a good while. Chris Nabbles. This is old Greg Vaughn. Tyler Green. Top prospect for the Phillies. Ricky Jordan. Another Philly there. Randy Velarde, the Yankees. Dave Gallagher of the Angels. Ron Robinson, another one of those like same initials guys for the for the Brewers. Terry Shumpert of the Royals. Mo Vaughn. Talk about guys who played forever. The Red Sox. Greg Ketteret. Kirk Dressendorfer. Kirk Dressendorfer. Imagine the shoulders this guy had to have. That Dressendorfer. Do all these have like bios? Not but his does. <laughs> all the athletics. Kirk Dressendorfer. Tony Fasas. And Carmelo Martinez. So that's um, half the box down. By far my favorite card. The Manny Ramirez rookie. That's such a sweet card. Is considered a rookie card, I guess. Top prospect. That's a that's a sweet card. Of course, the Griffey. Most exciting player. That's a sweet one. So yeah, that was a pretty fun open. You get a lot of cards in these these old packs, man. You get a a lot of uh, a lot of cards. They're fun. Like they're fun to open because you get that many in. Some of these guys, I know some I don't. Um, top five cards. I mean, I'm gonna have to really like think this shit up, you know, because I, I wasn't even pulling out the whole thing. versus dark because I'm an idiot, so I may have to go through that again. But. Just in that order, as I just laid them out. Five tennis seconds, we have four Conseco, three Gagmatics, and then two Griffey, which is the Diamond Skills, which is a $20 card if it was a 10 graded, and Manny, which is a 25. Um, in the mail, shoot, what did I buy? I should write it down. I bought some old wax, like actual wax baseball cards. They're coming in the mail. And um, I'm excited about those. They should be in this week. We'll finish off this box. And I gotta find a way just to do a uh, a UFC prediction for the weekend. Because it's Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. So, thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.